I'm still modifying this thing. I cut off another piece right there, the big one, and I glued it on there. And it sort of narrowed the footprint this way. It will allow me to get a little closer to the back of the tank. And then I cut a little piece off there, off the end, uh, you know, where my wrist is, to shorten that, get a little, you know, narrow the footprint from side to side of the tank. And I used, I think it's that piece. Yeah, that piece below my thumb here, wrapping around the rock, make it look a little like a root. But here's something you might want to consider. Now, when you're doing this and you're modifying these, save your sawdust. And I'm going back after the fact. And you can see the white tissue paper in here, I guess. Yeah, you can see that. So I'm putting a little uh, a little more super glue over, over that, over that area. Gluing my fingers together again. Did that the other night, not something you wanna do. Kind of takes all the fun out of the process. And then have a piece of paper or something to recollect. And then I've folded uh, the sawdust up in this so I can kind of funnel it where I want it and just pour a lot on, tap it off. Now we've hidden, there we go. Now we've hidden all that white paper. You can push it in a little bit or not. Put it in with your fingers. I gotta get uh, back in here. I'll do the same thing. Try and reach that with the, yeah, I can with the with the glue. Cover the area with the, the tissue paper, and I'm just gonna pick it up with my fingers and drop it in. And that works just as well. But when you got bigger areas, you may as well pour it in. Now I'm gonna pour this bat onto my little funnel paper, and you can see I've still got some white showing around that, and a little wet glue. And I think I've already glued some of that and it probably absorbed or saturated. Here we go. Make sure you're over your, uh, your catch paper, pour it on. Yeah, you can tap it in while you got a good thick layer and then pour it off on your catch paper. And it, it's still wet, you can see it's dark, but it looks a lot better than the white tissue paper sticking through, at least I think so. And I might put some over the end of this as well, just to kind of It'll give it some texture instead of this. But another way to hide these things are, are stick Java ferns or Anubias or uh, Bucephalandra to those areas and let them grow up and out. And they'll eventually fill it and you won't see it anymore. Got another little piece of wood here that broke off from up here. I broke it off. And I think what I'm gonna do is try and stick it back here. And then I'll put some plants or, you know, drop a little sand in there to hide, hide all this. Uh, and it'll give it the kind of the appearance that roots are growing out around this. And I might see if I can salvage another skinny piece or two to come down over the rock. We'll see. I don't, you know, anything worth doing sometimes is worth overdoing. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the corner of the rock here because that was one of the spots it was hitting. And also right about here, also a spot it was hitting. There we are. And if I missed, well, I can come back here and just drop some glue right in. And since the two pieces are in contact there, not a huge contact space, but I can uh, I can add some more glue after it sets. I'll flip it upside down and add some glue behind it. And if I need to, I can stuff a little bit of tissue paper in some of the spots after this first layer of glue sets. All right, it's pretty well set. So I've got a little piece of tissue paper here. I'm just gonna stuff uh, between this little piece of wood and, and the stone. And this is not the best tool, but it works. A little mechanical pencil, as long as I can get the lead out, not glue the lead to the to the end of the nib here. And it's kind of nice because it's small. So I've got a, a little piece of tissue paper here. I'm gonna wad it up fairly tight. And I'm gonna see if I can drop it in to this spot right here. Just drop it right in and then push it in with the pencil tip and then drop some glue on that. Now this, it's, it, when I bought it, I got it, it's Gorilla brand and it's just super glue, but it's coming out like gel. And I was really hoping it was just the more liquid super glue that it made saturating uh, the paper a lot easier, but it's working. So we'll let that sit for a bit. If I stick a plant on this, like a little piece of Bucephalandra or something, it's not gonna matter. And then uh, we can see the tissue paper up here. So what I'm gonna do is drop a little glue, a little bead of glue all the way along there. And I think I'll just put a little bit of pool filter sand in there instead of sawdust. What I'm gonna do is move this sawdust out. I'm gonna save it. It's the spider wood, so I think I'll just hold on to that actually and uh, 
even if I'm done here because I don't with this project I don't want to waste that I can use it for another time put a little super glue down down in here put a little super glue down behind the rock here between the rock and the uh, the hard place has uh, between the rock and the uh, piece of spider wood then I've got some pool filter sand and I am just gonna drop some of that in and you probably can't see that so let's see if we can get to a place it's gonna fall on the floor but I'm gonna drop some of that in here tap it around a little bit make sure it settles and that looks a whole lot better than that big gaping fissure that was in there. And that's kind of there we are. That's kind of there we are. What do you think? Now, just because I am going to try and fill that spot right here. Got another piece of tissue paper. And I'm wadding it up pretty tight. And when it gets wet, it will expand a little bit. So it'll fill the spot. And I'm going to stuff that in here best I can. And I've noticed, too, that it's tough to do, but you can do it. Any of the little bits of uh, tissue that stick out, a utility knife. Oh, there goes the pencil lead. Utility knife will trim it. So there we are, stuffed in. Saturate it as best we can. And then we'll put a little of uh, the sawdust on there. And there it is. What do you think? Now I've got this one here. It's got kind of a, almost like a right angle there going into the trunk of my little tree. And I think what I'm going to do there is uh, I'm going to put a plant over this, this whole area. That'll take care of that. Because otherwise I don't want to carve on it. This spider wood's really hard. I'm using a regular hacksaw to cut it. It's the standard hacksaw. And the blade's plenty sharp and it, it makes a nice clean cut on, on the spider wood. So I think I'm gonna let it go and I think I'm gonna call that it. It'll be buried. This will allow me to push it back into sort of a tapered up substrate uh, with some other rocks on both sides of it. And this rock obviously serves two purposes. It looks like the stump is growing you know, right up against the rock. And I've seen that in nature. And it's also going to be an anchor to hold this thing down because otherwise it's going to want to float up. It's fresh, dry wood. So I took a couple little pieces here from up above. I think one came from another little piece of the spider wood I had and glued them down behind the rock over, um, over and around the rock to this little tree stump. Kind of give the illusion, impression that there's roots coming out of it and wrapping around and holding on. Now, if I need to, I can also add more of these little faux roots uh, to give me that appearance that I want. Well, anyway, there we are. Hopefully you got something out of this. This is gonna end up in that little marine land tank. I learned a lot of this watching other people. So maybe uh, you can pick up on some of this uh, from, from watching me. So anyway, like I always say, thanks for looking.